Okay, uh, first thing I've done is I've clearly marked up the uh, timing points on the rotor. Okay, there's two. And uh, I, I put tip X on the actual timing line. And then I put a black line either side. So it's easy to identify where it is when you're looking through the aperture. You can see it and you're actually going to time it up on the tip X line. You don't have to do that. I, I just do it. It just makes life a bit easier. That's all. Okay, and then I've turned the engine over by hand uh, to set the pointer at 28 degrees. Uh, it's actually 28 degrees before top dead center. Okay, now this being a wasted spark system, it doesn't matter which mark is lined up. There's two marks. It doesn't matter which one is at 28 degrees before top dead center because they're both firing at the same time. If this was points, you'd have to do one and then the other, but you just do one. Doesn't matter which mark because you're you're they're both firing at exactly the same time. Okay, so the first thing I've done is to check which of these two Allen screws is the correct one for our camshaft. And by very gently uh, screwing them in, I've found out it's this one. Just a word of warning that the threads are actually very similar and that this one started to go in and then tightened up. It's slightly the wrong thread. So just, you know, when you check, screw it, very gently don't use force and if it starts to tighten then it's probably the wrong one and then very gently screw the other one all the way in okay so just uh, just be slightly careful on that one okay uh then the next thing i need to uh, is do is just to loosely fit the actual main unit and uh get these holes the, uh, for the pillar bolts in the middle of the slots and then mark a black line on the outside of the casing where to line up with the words AC on the side of the unit. Okay, so I've done that and I'll just put it back in. So let's have a look there. Get the holes just in near the middle as I can. Yeah, I think that's the middle. And then I've marked that black line opposite the words AC on the unit. And that will be our datum line for then fitting uh, the rotor. Okay, so then what I do is I take the rotor with its two marks, slot it in the end of the camshaft, and then I line these two marks up to make a straight line between them and my mark, uh, which I'll do more accurately in a minute, and then put my, uh, and then I'll screw the, I'll screw the, uh, the cent that central bolt, Allen screw bolt in, uh, and uh, and line it up. So I'll just do that off camera, and then just check that when I've bolted it, we've got a straight line between the two marks and my mark. Okay, there we go. I think I've got that pretty much on. And I've put the bolt in so the rotor is now fixed firmly and the two marks line up with my mark. Now, it doesn't matter whether or how accurately you've done this. As long as you've got it pretty accurate, the bike will start. The whole point is that we will then time the engine up with a strobe later on when it started. But as long as you're, you know, there or thereabouts, you know, you've got this whole slot to play with to turn to turn things around so if it's not quite in the right place you know we adjust it later on with the strobe and as long as you've got it roughly right the bike will start okay and then we can fine tune it later on so you know and, and from my experience i've done these before and when i've gone to put the strobe on to be honest it's pre they're pretty dead on you know if you get the static timing right then you know it's uh it, it, the chances are it'll probably be dead on, on the strobe anyway 
Okay, so then I've there's this uh, special sort of straight edge included in the pack. And what you do is you put that on the casing to check that the rotor is indented two mil from the edge of the casing. And this helps you to, to gauge that. But I always find it difficult. So I put that on and then I have my ruler and I put my ruler between the rotor and the straight edge to actually measure it. Okay. Uh, and in our case, that's fine. But perhaps, you know, you should be two mil with sort of half a mil either way. I'd say we're probably we're just over two and a half mil, but I think we'll get away with it. Uh, one of the problems <laughs> I always have with this, it says check you've got a two mil uh, indentation, but it never tells you what to do uh, <laughs> if you haven't. <laughs> uh, now, today, I've never had uh, one that hasn't had that uh, uh, indentation, you know, hasn't been correct. But I always think, well, what, what would happen if it, you know, it, how do we, how do you adjust it? Doesn't give you any idea of how to adjust it if it's not the correct depth. Anyway, there we go. Uh, but we're fine, so we can carry on.